Hey guys, in this video I will tell you everything you need to know to make your ENV text and ENV shade experience the best it can possibly be. As many of you know, ENV shade is a new solution for your shaders in prepared version 3 and 4. The setup process is very simple, but it must be well executed. The very first thing you will want to do is to download the new common interface called ENV Director or ENV Deer, however you want to say it. In the future, all Toga add-ons will be integrated into ENV Deer. Then simply run the installer. It should be pretty straightforward. Alright, so now that this is done, simply go to Sim Market, buy and download ENV Shade, and run the installer, which should take a few seconds only. Alright guys, so here is ENV Deer. As you can see, it looks pretty familiar. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing as you're already used to with ENV Text, but it's now, it's now called ENV Deer, and it integrates all Toga Projects add-ons. The first thing I want you guys to notice, and this is a question that has been recurring a lot, is that ENV Text is not yet compatible with ENV Deer. This means that ENV Text will not show as active. Um, we've well, uh, Toga Projects has received a lot of questions regarding this. It's a trending question in the forums on Facebook. Uh, why ENV Text shows as inactive? Um, it's not a bug. It's not a problem. It's only that it's not yet compatible with ENV Deer. So all we use ENV Deer for as of now is ENV Shade. As you can see, ENV Shade shows as activated, which is what we want. So what you can do, simply click on ENV Shade. And as you can see, it brings you into the Settings tab. And it should auto-detect your prepared version 4 folder. Um, it should auto detect your simulator, but if it doesn't, simply direct it to the folder. And as you can see, everything is turned off. Why? Well, because ENV Text is not active in ENV Deer yet. Only thing we will be using this for, if you scroll down, is the ENV Shade settings. So as you can see, we have uh, very few options. First of all, you can select uh, ENV Shade shaders or if you have PTA and want to switch back to PTA sometimes, then you simply turn on uh, the PTA uh, usage, which will disable, obviously, e ENV Shade shaders. So turn on the shaders from ENV Shade and you can choose between high performance and high quality. Personally, I highly recommend high performance. Uh, there's not such a big difference with high quality and high quality is very demanding. Um, there is a difference, don't get me wrong, there, there is a difference, but for everyday usage, high performance is definitely the way to go. There's next to none um, performance uh, impact, which is what we're looking for. So once this is done, what you wanna do now is simply click on uh, install to sim and it should take around two seconds, 100%, and you'll get this pop-up that says install complete. And now we are sure that the ENV Shade shaders are installed into your prepared simulator. Please note that ENV Shade automatically restores the default shaders during the installation before installing its own shaders. So if you've been using PTA in the past, you don't even need to restore the initial shaders within PTA. You can simply use ENV Shade and it will override any PTA shaders you might have been using in the past. All right guys, so now I've opened ENV Text and I've also purposefully left ENV Deer opened to show you that, it's, that it is exactly the same thing, for now at least. Once ENV Text is fully integrated into ENV Deer, you will only be using ENV Deer, of course. So please note that I was in the beta for ENV Shade, so this is ENV Text pretty much, um, but you will not have these two tabs here. 
this was just replaced with ENV Deer upon release, but please don't mind this. It's normal. Yours doesn't look like this. Don't freak out. Uh, I'm just using a beta version. But again, uh, in the next few days, ENV Text will be integrated into ENV Deer, so you won't even be using uh, two separate interfaces. So into your own ENV Text, so you simply open ENV Text, the one you've been using uh, since the release of ENV Shade, and that's where you just do your texture settings. So um, ENV Deer is for ENV Shade, and ENV Text is for now still for textures. So um, I'll take this opportunity to show you my own settings. Um, so of course you want to direct ENV text to your prepared version 4 or 3 to FSX or FSX Team Edition, but I just uh, assume most of us are, are on prepared now. So prepared version 4, direct your um, ENV text to the folder. Um, I choose to integrate, well, you, you should really, if you have Active Sky Cloud Art, uh, you should point uh, ENV text to the folder. And I only use ENV text textures. Um, they look much, much better than uh, Active Sky Cloud Art. So I don't even use both. I only use ENV text. And I'll show you what that does in uh, Active Sky Cloud Art a bit later on. All right, so as for ENV text settings, I have my global quality on custom, and uh, these are pretty much my settings. So optimize all textures, definitely yes. Turn that on, and if you wanna copy my settings, please go ahead. Um, for the clouds, I highly recommend 32 bits. It looks much, much better than uh, DXT5. Um, this is the compression and 32 bits looks a lot, a lot better. And the uh, hit on performance is not that bad uh, from what I've uh, gathered. So again, these are my settings in my videos. This is what I use. And um, also make sure that shaders are turned off because as previously mentioned, ENV Deer is now uh, being used for ENV Shade. So ENV Text is only used for textures and ENV Deer is used for ENV Shade, and in the next few days or a week or so, it will integrate ENV Text as well. Again, if you are curious, here are my settings, and um, for the sky, it doesn't matter if you have uh, Active Sky Cloud Art. Uh, this is pretty much disabled if you're using Active Sky Cloud Art. I'll show you why in a few seconds. But these uh, settings are the ones I use. So Cirrus, I use set number one. For inland water, I set I use set one photo reel. For waves, set number three gives me the best uh, waves. I think it looks very good. The sun, I use uh, intense, the set one. Cumulus, I use set four. Ocean water, I use set one photo reel. Airport, I use set number three. Set four for the sun flare. Um, Aurora, I use randomly visible. Uh, for the tropical water, I use set one photo reel. And for the grass, I use normal set two. All right, guys, so I'm going to end with my Active Sky Cloud Art settings and tell you a bit how ENV text and well in the future ENV Deer interacts with Active Sky Cloud Art. So first of all I recommend that you run it on full dynamics. This will provide uh, you with the best variety of sky textures of cloud textures as well and uh, it will give you the most out of your uh, ENV text sky textures that's for sure. So full, dy full dynamics it is. Now if you go into settings first thing I want you to uh, notice is that in enabled content everything is checked. So if you want to use the ENV text uh, clouds only you will want to untick cloud textures and cirrus. You do not untick cloud structures and you keep sky colors obviously. 
but my personal preference is to use Active Sky Cloud Art uh, Clouds, so I leave everything checked. Uh, this results in um, the the clouds in the simulator will be from Active Sky Cloud Art and not from ENV Tex. So here are my settings. So I run everything on medium. Um, it it's what gives me the best performance uh, and uh, visual kind of ratio uh, and um, just make sure you have everything on 32 bits if your system can handle it it looks much much better and obviously you can try a bit uh, you can try a bit uh, higher resolutions or of course if you have lower end systems uh, you can try lower resolutions as well and uh, yeah so just make sure your simulators uh, or your simulator is well um, detected and so what I wanted to show you earlier is if you click into weather influence configuration so what I wanted to show you here is that all the sky colors that are selected are those from ENV Tex. the sky colors from active sky cloud art are deactivated that's because we selected only ENV Tex textures to be working with active sky cloud art so that might be a bit confusing, but the only thing you need to know is that while you are on full dynamics and you're using only ENV text textures, your ENV text textures will be randomly selected throughout the flight and uh, no ASCA textures for the sky will be uh, showing up. And quite frankly, uh, the ENV text sky textures look so much better. So that's my personal recommendation. And um, yeah, so you can just confirm for yourself that they are selected and the developer has done all the job to select the proper sky textures for the proper conditions. So as you can see, uh, the sky color uh, 25 will only um, uh, occur when there's snow, either snow, rain, storm convective, and uh, so yeah, it's all random, but they have pre-selected some conditions so it stays as realistic as possible. All right guys, so this concludes this tutorial for ENV Text, ENV Shade and the integration for Active Sky Cloud Art. I hope this could uh, clarify a lot of uh, your questions. If you still have questions, do not hesitate to post them in the comment section down below. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos in the very near future. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day.